Hey, what's up, Scott Balkum here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're talking about this, the Aperture Nova P300C RGBWW Lite, and it's badass. So we're gonna be diving into this light in just a moment, but before we do, I wanna ask that you take a moment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and give us a thumbs up because we're a growing group of filmmakers just like yourself. And well, we think you might be a good fit for us. So come on, join us. So just a note, Aperture did send me this light for review, but as always, they do not require anything other than for me to give it a good shakedown and let everyone know and them what I think. And those that know me know I'm honest, and those that don't know me yet, well, you'll soon find out that I'm honest. When I review, I give a good and the bad in my opinion. And, you know, it's my opinion, but I give it to you. So let's be honest. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you probably already know that Aperture's been churning out some pretty amazing lights over the years. Each one of them is better in every way than the previous generations. And each time they design a light, well, they take every little piece of feedback that they've heard and, well, they try to address it in every way possible. And it's obvious that Aperture listens to their customers. And in return, you get some of the best lights and technology in the industry. Now, some have dismissed Aperture in the past, but today, my friends, I can tell you, those people won't be dismissing them any longer. The Aperture Nova P300C RGB WW light is built to be on set. It's built to work, and it's built to solve our problems as filmmakers. So let's go through this light so you can understand what it is and what it does. Now, quite honestly, this is the best built aperture light I've seen. Now, I've been pretty happy with the 300D Mark II and the 300X build quality. They have held up to my day-to-day -day abuse. Now, I don't beat my gear up. I tend to take care of it, but I also don't whap it in a whittle baby blankie and tuck his whittle wamp head in to sweep at night either. Yeah, I, I use it, but... This design is better than I expected. I've seen quite a few of the prototypes since it was first introduced at NAB a few years back. Each time I thought, well, it looked pretty good. And when I would probe as to say, mm, you know, when is this gonna be ready? They would always say, mm, not yet. We're still improving things. Well, they weren't kidding. I liked the design of the original. I thought it would do okay in the industry, but they improved it. The next version I saw of it was a lot better, but they were still improving. The next version, well, it was even better. And I thought, this has got to be pretty close to production ready. Nope, they weren't done. And to my surprise, this final version is built like a freaking tank. Now, maybe not a full on battle tank, more of a light infantry support tank, but it's a tank nonetheless. Now, tanks aren't lightweight, and that is a trade off. This thing weighs a lot more than you think. Now, the light itself weighs over 22 pounds, and that may not sound like a lot until you're lifting it up on a C-stand, so please realize what it weighs. And It is manageable, though, and I'll take a tank-level build any day. Now, on the body, there's an easily adjustable yoke on it, and it's pretty darn solid. And there's an accessory tray on the front, so you can slide in a softbox or any other accessories from Aperture and a few other manufacturers as well. There's a top handle on it, so you can carry it around like you're a 70s person in business carrying that briefcase that's really just got a portable radio, a magazine, and some meal receipts um, from a few months ago that you kind of forgot to put in your expense account. But honestly, who doesn't want to look that cool? And especially on set. Now the power comes from a near 20 foot long, six meter Nutric PowerCon power cable that just plugs right into the bottom. And unfortunately, because this thing pulls 360 watts at maximum, you can't just slap a couple of V-mount or gold mount batteries on the back. There's a 24 to 48 volt four pin XLR jack. So if you have a power bank that can supply the voltage and the amperage, well, you're good to go with that option. But you can't just do it built in but you know, you can plug it into the wall. And you know, the nice thing is that if you have a 20 amp outlet in your house, well, you can run five of these on one circuit. That's a ton of RGBWW lighting goodness on a single circuit. 
Now to control this bad boy, there is a control box right here. And you can mount it on the back of the head. You can mount it on the light stand with the lightning cable and the short cable that they supply with it. Or you can use the longer cable and go way off over there and control it that way. Or if you're one of those people that loves to sit over there in chairs and just kind of relax, well, you can remotely control it with DMX or Citus Link app on your iPhone or your iPad. But we'll get into that later. Now, on the remote, you can dial in and select any or all of the settings remotely. You can power it on, and they've even provided some presets right here along the bottom, and you could just recall them on a whim. You just set those up, whatever you like, and boom, you got it. And it's a pretty cool box that really best lives right here on the stand. Now, speaking of stands, you can mount it with either a baby pin or a junior pin. It's a robust and simple light to mount and adjust. Now, let's talk about the light output. Now, this light is about the size of an Airy Sky Panel S30, but it's about one and a half times brighter. Now, I've measured this light with my light meter at 2000 Kelvin, and it's about 4500 lux. At 3000, it's a little brighter at 6800 lux. 5,000 through 10,000 Kelvin, it's a little brighter still at 8,300 lux at one meter. Now, that's pretty darned impressive actually because not only is that pretty bright, it's big, soft, and yeah, RGB and oh, uh, W and W too, but I mean, you get the idea. Now, let's talk about colors. There's a lot of RGB lights out there, and what I found with a lot of them is that they have trouble producing certain colors very well at all. For instance, blue and green. And you would think that it would be easy, but amazingly, it isn't, and many can't do them well. Airy does them quite well, and Aperture does them quite well as well. As well. I mean, you get it. One billion colors, to be exact. And you can dial those colors in using a number of industry standard ways. You can use XY coordinates on the CIE 1931 color chart. You can use hue, saturation, and intensity. You can use RGB values as well. Or you could just use the color picker on their Citus Link app, point at the color you want, and boom, you've got it. Did I just crack my voice? That's a little awesome. Well, but more on that later, not my voice cracking the, the, the app. Yeah, so RGBWW means that it has RGB and a warm and a cool white LED as well. Now, this gives you far more color control and accuracy, but also a boost in output power. In addition, this gives you the ability to have white light from 2000 Kelvin all the way to 10,000 Kelvin. And when it comes to color accuracy, well, Aperture says that it has measured CRI and TLCI values of 95 plus. Now, currently and apologetically, I don't have a good color meter that will come soon, I hope, but that also means that I can't give you the technical measurements of color. I can only relay them from what others have done, but I can tell you what my eye sees, and yes, that's not perfect, but is this really about my opinion? Yeah, it's my opinion and my eyes are, well, they're not my opinion, they're my eyes, but they help me form an opinion. So you get my eyes and thus my opinion on my reviews. That's a long winded way of saying I don't have a color meter yet. I'm working on it. So yeah, you get my eye. And you know, there are plenty of other wonderful people in the industry who have the light and a great color meter and can give you the science on it. And I encourage you to get the stats from them on the color accuracy. Now, Aperture says the beam angle is 120 degrees. And from what I can tell, it looks, yeah, it's 120 degrees. It's pretty spot on, yeah. There are over 300 built-in industry standard gels that you can easily access from the front panel of the control box or from your iPhone or iPad using their Citus Link app. But more on that later. There are tons of effects built in, like some of their other lights, but many of these you can tweak the color in it as well, and there are more. You can also control all of that with their app too. But more on that 
you know what, let's just talk about it now. The Citus Link app has two versions, the iPhone version and the iPad version. The iPhone version is free and really powerful, giving you access to virtually all their lights and controlling every aspect about them. The iPad version does come with a small charge, but it gives you even more control and capability with a console built in as well. It has a few other features and we'll kind of dig into that on another video because it's, it's its own thing. So you can really feel like you're in charge. I feel like someone should put that kind of in a Batman clip in here or something, but I don't think they've ever made one with that line. Do you feel in charge? Well, well they should. Now, the softbox accessory is pretty darn cool as well. It just slides into the front and, well, makes it even softer, but also bigger. But yeah, that's what you want. That's the goal. Aside from the light itself, when you purchase from Aperture, you're not just buying a light. You're buying into a company that actually cares. And those who know me know that I love brands that actually care about people. Aperture is exactly that type of company. Now, I had a friend who had an Aperture light fail recently. A quick call to support, and within a few days, he was back up and running. A failure doesn't happen very often, and really that often at all with Aperture, but the fact that they respond so quickly and genuinely, they really want to help you get back up and running, it quickly tells you volumes. They want to see their products out there, and they want to see people making cool stuff with them. They want to hear feedback and they want to improve and make better stuff. Are they perfect? No, but you know, how many companies are there that are that genuine and that really try as hard as Aperture? The best with their products, the best with their support, and the best with their community. That's really Aperture in a nutshell. It's a pretty fantastic light and it does come at a higher price, but you really are getting what you pay for here. The light retails for $16.99 without the case and $18.99 with the hard case. Yeah, normally Aperture includes kind of a rigid soft bag, but in this case, <laughs> yeah, uh, the case option, you get a rigid hard case and yeah, it's really solid. Now the soft box, it retails for $149. So for a little over $2,000, you can get a pretty fantastic and bright, soft, colorful, rugged light. Yeah. So what are the negatives to this light? Well, it's rather large. Uh, so it's, it's just like a sky panel. So technically it's not really a negative, but yeah. Uh, it weighs quite a bit, so be prepared. I mean, it's not the end of the world heavy, but yeah. It costs a fair amount. It's not something you just kind of run out there and buy on a whim, but it's not that expensive in the long run. And that's where we kind of get to the positives. It's large, yeah. It's a big, bright light. It weighs a lot, but yeah, it's built like a tank. So that weight is kind of worth every ounce in build quality. And the cost, well, it is a lot, but compared to a Sky Panel S30, which isn't even as bright as the Aperture, it's a freaking bargain. <laughs> and with the build quality of this unit, it is going to last you a long time. And you can put this light on a grip truck and feel pretty good about it because that investment is going to hold up over time. It's going to be used, it's going to be used a lot, and it's going to, you know, it's gonna pay for itself and put money back into your pocket. So. I have to say that, well, I knew pretty much what this light was before I got it. Well, because I've seen it so much over the last few years. But I have to say that when I did receive it, I was still shocked at what it evolved into. And I can say with very few reservations that this thing is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, it really is. So what do you think about this light? Are you gonna buy one or four or 12? I mean, leave a comment down below with what you think. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just to say thank you or yeah, good choice in buying this light. 
yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I'd say. Uh, remember to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like us, give us a thumbs down. Don't thumbs down the like. Well, I mean, if you, I guess if you don't like it, but I mean, really? It, you're going to give it a thumbs up. It's Look at this thing. It's a tank. But uh, yeah, I mean, remember you can support me by any of the options down below. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <music>